Hello! The report page tooltips are a nice little feature that will enhance the experience of your Power BI reports and dashboards. Namely, you can use them to provide additional information on mouse over. Let me show you what I mean by that. I have a nice little sales dashboard here um, and my dashboard explains the variance to plan in my visual here. And now, if I want to explain the variance in a, on a particular row, I can add a report page tooltip so when the user hovers with his mouse over a specific element, uh, the so-called report page tooltips now pops up and now I have a nice additional um, explanation of the variance, so further breakdown, uh, in my case, by country. Right, so this is a, a really quick and easy explanation that you add to any custom uh, visual or, or native visual in Power BI. So, what do you need to do to implement a report page tooltip like that? By default, all the tooltips in all Power BI visuals look like this. Find so you see there's a there's actually a setting called the tooltip in Power BI for each and every Power BI visual. Okay, by default, the tooltips looks like this. All right, so basically the tooltip just simply displays the values that are already in the visual, right? Which in many cases does not really make sense, okay? So it's better that you control the exact design and um, content of each and every tooltip, right? So how do you do that? First of all, you need to add a page. So this is the page that I was using in my example. So you see you have a separate Power BI page that you then link to your visual. Okay, how do you set this page up? Let's add a new page and we'll use this new page as uh, my new tooltip for the visual. So you add a page, you go to the settings here and then under page information make sure that you enable the setting called the tooltip. So simply switch this to on. From now on this page can be used as a report page tooltip on any visual in this report. This is step number one. Step number two, kind of important, go navigate under the uh, page size and make sure that you set the type of the page size to tooltip. What this does is actually just shrinks the size of the page so you, you, you have a smaller page, right? Because the tooltips should not be too big, right? So this should be compact, compact information on a small, um, on a small uh, amount of, of space, right? So the uh, tooltip will, will do that. Also, um, also one tip here, make sure that under the view in your Power BI desktop, you switch the page view to the actual size, uh, which will, you know, ensure that, that you know exactly how much space do, do you really have. Okay, now, you can just add any kind of uh, visuals into your tooltips. You can, you can have, you know, column charts, whatever types of charts, you can add tables, whatever you want, right? So let's try, let's try a Zebra BI table visual and let's add some information. In my case, maybe um, compare actual sales with my plan here. And I will now do the split, the breakdown by country. All right, so now I have my page prepared with a visual. Let's make it bigger. Okay, my report page tooltip page is set up. Now I go back to my original page and I will now link this page to my visual. So I select my visual here and navigate under the uh, tooltip section here in the settings and simply switch the type of the tooltip uh, to report page. All right, this is done. Uh, now you see another setting called the page where you simply select the page that you want to display as a tooltip on this particular visual. So this is my page one now. All right, and it should work already. Okay, you see, 
I'm moving my mouse under um, above my elements and my new page is displayed. So this is the basic technique how you uh, add report page tooltips to your um, um, pages, to your visuals. All right, uh, a couple of uh, recommendations here, right? So first of all, uh, the number of elements, uh, the sizes in, in, in tooltips, uh, you should have complete control over that. So in, in my case here, uh, you will see that um, I simply have too many elements, right? They don't fit in the tooltip page, right? Um, how to fix that? Let's go back to my tooltip. Um, basically, you have two ways, right? You can either increase the size of the page. So that would be here. Um, you go, you click here, make sure that the page is selected. You go under the page information, or sorry, the page size, and um, switch the type from tooltip to custom, right? And now you can actually set the exact number of pixels for the size of this tooltip. So if you want to, you know, increase the height, you simply type a, a larger number here, a bigger number, and then you can extend the tooltip, right? So this is technique number one. If you want to keep your tooltips short, then instead of this, um, just switch this back to my original size, right? Instead of this, select the most important elements in your visuals, right? So for example, in Zebra BI, uh, you can do it like this. You can use the so-called top and bottom N function. If you turn this to, for example, top N, now you have filtered the elements. So you can, for example, just display the, you know, the five or six or seven most important elements, and then everything else is calculated as others here in the visual, right? So now everything should fit in the visual. Let's check this. Perfect, now I have, you know, the most important countries and the rest of the countries combined, aggregated in this others row. So this works quite nicely with one, one function. And of course, now there are, um, you know, several options, how exactly, what type of information, what type of chart do you use uh, to explain um, certain data categories in your visual, right? The one that, that works really well to explain the variances, for example, to make sure that we understand uh, the breakdown of this negative variance in my mobile business unit here. Okay, what would be the best way to do this? Let's go back to my page and I'll do something um, slightly different. Okay, now I have switched the view in the Zebra BI table uh, to the table view and I will just clean everything. So I will hide the previous year column. I will hide the actual column and I will hide the previous year percent column here, okay? And now just choose to display the variance, right? Because now I'm focusing on the variance. I want to explain what is, you know, the breakdown of the variance, the actual variance. And uh, you can, for this, you can use a plus minus chart. You can sort, sort by uh, the variance, uh, like descending, or in some cases ascending maybe. And so this is one way. The other way would be to, to even choose the vertical waterfall chart. So this is actually my favorite uh, example here. Um, now I'm showing the top uh, seven countries uh, and the others. So the most important uh, countries are rendered here already. However, uh, one more detail in my top end filter, um, I should filter by the absolute difference, right? Because I have uh, hidden all the other uh, columns, this is already done here. So just make sure that in the top end filter, you know, you have the, 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 exact, um, uh, the exact field for the filtering. So filter by the absolute variance, sort the variances, have the others category here, and also in this case, it would probably also make sense to add the grand total. So let's also do this. And this is already uh, close to what I had in my original example. Let's, let's check how it looks like. All right, so like this, explaining the variance uh, by another field in a nice little tooltip. Um, 
Maybe the last detail, my last recommendation here, when the user is hovering with his mouse, all right? So my mobile business unit is kind of highlighted here. So this, this row is highlighted. I see that this is a mobile business unit. However, I don't have the, I don't have this, the name in my title, right? So if you want to further improve the experience, um, you can actually add the title of the original element into the tooltip. So let's try to fix this. I will make my visual slightly smaller, like this, and I will hide this, the original title, and instead add uh, the name of my original category, right? So how will I do that? I will choose to display it in a multi-row card. So this looks like this. Uh, there's a, there's a, strange bug in the uh, Power BI desktop here. So let me just refresh the page, just switch the pages. All right, no, so now it's rendered as it should be. Let's make this card really small because I just need, I just need a, a tiny, tiny uh, element here on the top to put the name and I want to display the name of my business unit groups. So I'll just add the groups, voila. Now I have the group here and in the setting of the card, uh, you can now control the font uh, size, font colors and so on. Uh, you can switch the category to off because we are actually just displaying the card title. So this is the font setting, um, you know, font color, text size and so on. And maybe another detail here. So uh, by default, you will always see this little line here before the name. So this is called the bar and you can simply turn it off or on whatever you prefer. So if we do something like that, all right, sort, maybe make this visual slightly bigger again, and let's check the final result. All right, nice little tooltip that will explain the variance. Okay, make sure you download the PBIX example um, and read all of the details in the article in our um, knowledge base.